Well, 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 ladies in national costumes, children are playing, pairs in the park, fab autumn decoration. Seems like Lviv to me, but it's not. We are on the east, surprisingly. So in this video we will uncover uh, the process of cultural revival on the Ukrainian east in small native town consequences of long-term Russification in this region that started in Russian Empire and finished in Soviet Union. And I want to remind you the term of Russification. This is enforcement of transferring of cultural, social and uh, all the areas, educational areas of life into Russian language. Please answer the question, why all former Soviet Union Republic, especially the elder population, know Russian language very well. And why no one from Russians knows, for example, Ukrainian or Belarusian or Latvian language? Because of the process of Russification. In distant 2016, the communization had started in Kaminsky, and it took almost seven long years to destroy monuments of the past, and the last one, Brezhnev's one, was dismantled only two months ago. Due to the communization, even town's original name has been changed. Funny fact, in Soviet Union, my native town was named as Dniprozerzhinsk. Very long word. Dniprozerzhinsk, almost non-pronounceable to honor the former Soviet leader Felix Dzerzhinsky that took a name as Iron Felix thanks to his participation in Russian terror. And due to the policy of decommunization, town gained back his historical name Kamenskoye. Look attentively on this square, its main street of the town. In Soviet Union it was named after Lenin, but now it was renamed in the prospect of freedom. Instead of monument to Lenin, it has memorial complex to a heavenly hundred. The strong policy of Russification, most of the people that were born and raised in this area during 1940 till 1980 were sure that Russian language is their mother tongue. That is why, in my opinion, it's extremely important to implement soft policy of Ukrainization for new generation, for example, for our children, and town is successfully provided. They opened puppet theater for children for educational purposes. There are only three puppet theaters in all Dnipro region and I'm proud to say that one of them is in Kamenskoye. It is located in historical building that was built in 19th century. All nobility was gathered there, orchestra played and balls were held also there. Hello guys, thank you for watching Eugenia's channel. I'm a Ukrainian rooster and I'm greeting you. Hello from Ukraine. My mom always told me that theater starts from hangar. So now we are backstage in the dressing room where all actors and actresses are changing and preparing for the play. All puppet shows are on Ukrainian. You would ask me what about adults? And all adults after the work can also enjoy Ukrainian plays in musical dramatic theater of Lesya Ukrainka. Because CEO of the theater transferred all the repertoire and plays to Ukrainian language. And I even worked my day shift and after the work managed to attend and visit theatre and see the play that has been playing in the theatre for 20 years and after full-scale invasion it was translated in Ukrainian language. The Bat, or in German D. Fledermaus, is an operetta by Johann Strauss in three acts. First time I've seen it when I was 12 and it was in Russian. My mom had a small role in chore and it was a typical performance for the theatre. And it required dancing, singing, drama in one flavor. Could you imagine how many skills one actor would need to perform? Despite of the war, theatre was full of people. Seems like everyone needs a retreat from constant air alerts. But in my humble opinion, decommunization is not only renaming town names or street names, it's erasing Soviet Union past and mindset from the head. 
and learning Ukrainian history. That's why we will check historical museum right now. The Museum of History of the City of Kamenske is a scientific, cultural and educational institution that collects records, stories, studies and popularizes the history and cultural movement of the city. And I'm very excited, guys, and happy that cultural revival and education from the side of the town did not stop during the war, because it can significantly raise the moral of the civilians and remind us what we are fighting for. Thanks to exhibition, I've learned a lot about Kaminsky history, about traditional decoration of the house in the village and how village become a town, how people were living in 20th century there and what input of metallurgical plan has been made for transforming village to the town. But I'll change it, change it. And this exhibition is placed in the museum of the history of our town and open from 9 to 5. I'd like to mention that it's totally affordable for everyone, even for the people with low income, because entrance ticket costs only 20 grinas. That transfers to dollars in 80 cents, I guess. So, if you by any chance volunteering in Dnipro region, you can go to this museum and have an excursion alone or with the guide. And with the guide it will cost a little bit more expensive, around one dollar and a half. Do not forget about Dnipro, the capital of Dnipro region. Recently I have been to meeting with my colleagues and noticed significant changes. Of course, people are trying to find sense of normality in this horrible situation. They are walking, sitting in the cafe, trying to find a snippet of joy in daily life. But from the other hand, we see bunkers all over the city, according to Israel model in 90s or early 2000s. Each single tram stop has mobile safe places. City is experiencing attacks several times each week with drones and such bunkers is life-saving. It also equipped for people with special needs. Guys, I appreciate you dedicated some time to check my videos and I would like to ask you for the small boost. If you want to help me to spread a word about Ukrainian culture all over the internet, please smash this like button as crazy and share my video across the internet to your family and friends. And in case you have a possibility, please proceed to description of this video and check my Buy Me A Coffee page. But let's go back to Kamenske. If you are willing to check town and have no much time, life hack from me. Go to the Ferris wheel in the golden hour and you will see all the city from the bird's eye view for $2 only. It's a bargain. So this is our city. We are in the golden hour and you see the sunset. I will show I, I will show. And our beautiful uh, cathedral, Catholic cathedral, and our plant, metallurgical plant. Guys, I deeply appreciate everyone who watched this video till the very end. Thank you for time dedicated. And I really, really apologize for rare videos. Unfortunately, I need to accomplish my full-time job with content creation hobby and stick to the strict shadow of uploads. But sometimes travels or work overload influence on it. I appreciate your understanding and I hope to see you soon in another videos. Bye-bye. Щоб між серцями нав